What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. On this week's episode, we're actually out here duck hunting in the marshes of Utah. Uh, we've been out here a few times this year and uh, we've hunted the morning so far. It's about 10 o'clock. It's been a little bit slow. We've not killed anything yet except for Jameson bagged one coot. Heck yeah. So that's where we're at and uh, we'll keep you guys posted and hopefully, hopefully we get on some more birds. Heck yeah, I'll eat some more coots. We have a bit of a dilemma. Uh, we kind of want to leave this spot and uh, go try another canal just because the birds aren't in the air anymore. So they're not really flying. So pretty much the only way is to jump shoot them. And, uh, but if we leave this spot, this is a Saturday and uh, there's a lot of people driving by without a spot. So we know that if we leave, we'll, we won't be able to come back here for the evening hunt. So we're kind of just gonna hunker down and uh, which means that when the duck hunting gets slow, and you don't have anything else to do, then you go after coots. So we're gonna sneak back into this channel and me and James are gonna try and maybe bag a few coots just to pass the time and uh, hopefully not to shoot too many shells so we still have something around for when the ducks start flying this evening. But yep, that's about it. So let's uh, just get over here and uh, try and sneak up on some coots. Cool. Hey guys, well, 
There's a uh, another coot. Can you see that guy? I don't know. Maybe you can't. Yeah, I got another one too. Yep. Yep. It's... Two two more coots. I don't know. Footage might be kind of lacking. It's a little bit difficult to film. <laughs> it's a little, it's quick, it's yeah, it's a little bit difficult to film these jump shots without a cameraman, especially where we both want to kill stuff. So, yep, I think that puts us on the board for, I don't know, somewhere around nine or ten yeah. coots. So, we'll give you the final count when we get back to the truck. But we're just kind of working our way back. It's probably about one o'clock, and yeah, we're doing pretty good. All right, guys, it is currently 2.49. Um, we've kind of moved on areas just a little bit. Um, it's been super busy today because it's a Saturday. So there's just been people driving around every few minutes, just not having a spot to hunt and things like that. So this is this the spot we're actually at right now is originally the spot we wanted to go all day. But when we got here uh, in the dark, somebody was already here. So we ended up going about I don't know, maybe a mile down the road, which worked out okay. We got shots, shots we should have nailed probably, ducks we should have killed, but that's okay. I don't know. I'm still a little upset about it, but it's fine. Um, but anyways, so now we're at this spot, which we wanted to be at originally. We've come here a few times this year. I'll throw up some pictures on the screen, but we've shot a, a, pin, a couple pintails out of here. Um, we've shot a hen mallard, we've shot some widgeon, a gadwall, uh, a bunch of teal. So this is a pretty good spot. And we'll be able to throw up the decoys and uh, do a little calling and we'll probably stay here till dark. So uh, yeah, stay tuned, should be good. Laid our decoys, they're right there. We're just trying to find the best spot to set up right now. The normal spot where we set up is behind me, but it's kind of open. Like, okay, we're really just on this little road type deal. Well, it's just an old two track, but, and then we just kind of tuck up in the, in the weeds, but we're thinking that it's a little bit too open. And we're gonna swing around right here and Try and set up. It kind of sucks because there's no wind. And as you can see, the sky is pretty clear. So, yeah, we've got a couple hours left of shooting light. And that's where we're at. Also, if you're curious as to know why there's string attached to our decoys, is because the mud, the mud is really bad here. The mud sucks. So we decided to make it easy on ourselves. So we just tied a bunch of paracord. And we've had them come in and land in the decoys with paracord tied to them. So, as far as we know, it doesn't make a difference. But, yeah, we've got, I don't know, about 300 coots down there to our right. So, yeah, we're going to get in here and uh, figure out exactly where we're going to set up. Okay, you guys, right through there is our decoys. We've got all the open water out in front of us. And a coot.
that if we would have waited at mine land. Well, guys, that is a wrap on the video. It is past shooting light now by just a couple minutes. So we are done hunting. And we're just going back to set up the dec I mean, to take down the decoys. Me and Jameson, with like five minutes left, made one last ditch effort to get over there. And we had one duck fly in on us. It was like a 60 yard shot though. So, I mean, it was literally like two minutes from last light. So, you know, you just kind of take take a pot shot, but did not work out, obviously. So we kind of got our butts kicked, but all in all, still a way fun day. And uh, we absolutely love being out here, so. Yep, beautiful sunset. Not, not too much of it left anymore, but it was nice and pretty earlier. And yeah, we're gonna get these decoys taken down. So thanks for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like. Comment down below any any tips for us newbie duck hunters. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.